What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the New York Rangers. We're picking up where we left off here, getting the season underway. 14-7-2 in a playoff spot, but only by a couple points. And it seems like goal scoring was an issue, but mainly that power play. It was only at 11%, so I think before we switch up the 5-on-5 five five lines... Uh, we're going to just try those, those power play switches that we did. We're going to have Leas Anderson up on the top, you know, with Hughes and Hoffman, Subban Shea, and then Toffoli, Andronov, and Kravtsov, Byfield on the point. Yeah, we're, we're going to try this out and see what we could do, get that power play uh, going better. We also made some changes to the PK as well, so yeah. That's, uh, that's kind of the plan of action because we do need to be scoring more goals. Our goals against was pretty good for a while. It's it's going back to more average now, which is to be, you know, it's it's understandable. But this team, I think we have a bit more scoring potential than we're letting on right now. I know we're still very low overall, but the offensive stats that we have spread out, I think could get us more than it's than it's getting us right now. Okay, it looks like Hughes' offensive awareness went up good. <laughs> but yeah. So okay. We're gonna we're gonna try this out. Try out those power play changes as well. And again, just go kind of month by month here, probably checking out the stats. Definitely want to keep an eye on the progress reports. Want to see how our uh, how our prospects are doing here. All right, Rangers, come on now, get that power play going. Get those goals against flowing. Need some more goal scoring for sure. Too inconsistent right now. Philly is a great team. Holy crap! Yeah, they shut us out three to nothing. They're like twenty. Damn, they only have four losses. All right, draft class. Okay. Let's see here. All right, nothing really yet. Uh, yeah, nothing really yet. But this guy's close to maybe being an elite, late, late round dude. All right, just keep going here. All right, New York. Two losses in a row. Not exactly what we want. Still struggling to put the puck in the net. I was hoping the power play would uh would get better here, but damn, we need we need to win these games. There we go. But still, man, it still doesn't seem like we're scoring a whole lot. We have our moments, but mostly it's just not quite enough. And now Tyler Toffoli's been injured. It's a mild concussion, December seventeenth. That's not too long, luckily, but that's you know still kind of enough time. All right, we have some depth dudes to just throw in there. Which obviously isn't ideal, but whatever. And since it's not that long, I'm not even going to worry about... Yeah, I'm just going to kind of throw them in there. It's not ideal, but literally it's only like two games. Oh, yeah, like two games he'll miss. Uh, another injury that is... Yeah, that's right. This guy over here. Who was there? Is it a center? Yeah. Here we are. All right, so we lost right there against Florida. Okay, we win that game. Not bad. Still back and forth with the goal scoring. We get some, then we don't get some. I'd love to see it be a bit more uh, <laughs> consistent here, but who wouldn't? All right, switch that back. Get to Foley back in there everywhere. Come on now, get us another win. Nope. Damn it. Back and forth, back and forth. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, we just can't score, man. I got to switch around those five-on-five five lines by the looks of it, too. It's just I don't think we have enough. Like, we, we can get, like, a temporary guy, but that would cost some assets. And I, I'm really not a fan of giving up too many assets here. Just not quite there. I mean, you can just tell the goal scoring. Something's off with our chemistry. Something. I just don't think our first line's quite good enough. I think that's the main thing. First line is really not good enough. There's three losses in a row. We got a point out on one of them, but that's still not good. Four losses in a row. It is just terrible right now. Oh, holy hell. <laughs> that's a first. They want our two of our first, and they want to give us Oliver Wallstrom. I'm looking at it just because what the heck. How good is he? How old is he? 78, 21. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no way. 
Okay, come on now. Win some fucking games. Jesus, another loss. We're just allowed too many goals. 19, 14, and 3. That was a bad month. Bad month right there. We might have even dropped out. No, we're barely hanging on to a wild card slot. 41 points. Nope, not cool. Look at the point scoring, man. It's ridiculous. We should have way more than this. I got it. Yeah, we have to make some major changes. We got a fucking defenseman leading our point scoring. Look at the goals for. Un, just terrible. What, what, did our power play get even worse with those changes? Probably. No. Well, yeah, kind of. Did nothing for us. Penalty kill got better. Our power play is absolute garbage, though. Holy crap, man. What is the issue? I don't understand it. Hughes has only got 24 fucking points. Hoffman's only got 20. To fall, like, look at this shit. How, look at the second line. What the fuck? 12 points? Andronov's got nine points in 36 fucking games played. Are you serious? How is this even possible? Is Andronov just one of those guys who just will refuse to produce? I mean, we've got him with Kravtsov. Someone who shoots a lot. Why are they not clicking? Like, Kravtsov's got 15, like 10 goals. Like, he's going to get 20 goals. But, hmm, something ain't working, man. This is just all bad. All bad right now. I'm not, I don't, I'm kind of disgusted. I don't even want to look at anyone else. We should be much better than this, plain and simple. How did we score so much last year? This does not make any sense to me. Like, what the hell is the issue? Howden's trash. I'm all right. I'm getting Howden out of here. I don't think he's the only one holding them back, though. Because how the, how the fuck does Andronov only have nine points, man? That really is... I don't get that. It really makes zero sense to me. But apparently it's a thing. So I'm going to try Elias Anderson on the second line. As my, I, I, I can't do much. <laughs> I'm looking at this. I'm just like, I really can't do much. We have like very few options here. Yeah, we, we just do not have many options. The point scoring is atrocious, but Kravtsov doesn't work. He's yet another shooter. Jack Hughes is already that guy. We need, like, the pure assist, dude. Which we just don't have. Look, I mean, we want Andronov to be that, but this guy is doing absolute shit. One other option is to, like, try him on the first line, see if this will spring him or something like that. But I don't even have a lot of faith in that, really. But then we look at this, and, okay, at least if, yeah, then that might work. This second line might work. So we could try something like this. Again, I don't have a whole lot of faith in it, though. I think this was suggested having Andronov up here, but he's doing shit. And he's taking a lot of penalties, too, which is pissing me off. He's got 86 discipline. But he's playing, like, absolute shit right now. And he's got to get going. So we can try him on the first line. I mean, he's got great stats. I don't understand why he isn't doing well, but he isn't, so... It's a thing we have to deal with. We're going to try Leas Anderson here. Second line with Kraps off to Foley. That's a bit... I don't know. I really don't know. But power play is still garbage, so... Got worse, so really... Let's try that for the power play as well. I really don't know. <laughs> Everything's just shit right now. When it comes to offense, we are just not getting anything. Yeah. Well, we could try that. Ugh. Yikes, man. Goals four just ke or keeps getting worse. Power play got worse. Damn. I don't know what's going on here, but it's it ain't good. We know that. It ain't good. Any growth? Do we have any good news here? Ah, uh, god damn it. Kravtsov's boosted by statistical growth. Fuck. Did not want that to be the case. Needed that natural. Hughes. Bit of, st uh, bit of statistical. A little tiny bit of natural. Not much. Leah Anderson. Statistical great. Heedle minuses. 
Okay, all right, yay, Jilson. Good, one of our elite defensemen up to uh, 73 overall now, medium elite. He is looking solid. That's a hell of a lot of growth. So that's good news. That's looking up. A couple of our elite goaltenders. Blomdahl, 58 at 20. This guy's trade bait for sure. I mean, we could use this guy to trade for like a, a, a rental winger or something like that. Uh, let's see. Shaika's has grown a bit. Not a whole lot, but he's at least growing. And it's still early too, so don't worry about that. And this is our franchise goaltenders at 71 now at 19. This is really good. Yeah, his stats aren't incredible, but whatever, dude. He's getting there. He's growing. And yeah, we've only got a couple of elites who haven't grown yet. Ooh, Naki's is now 79 overall. Rip. Mm. So he probably won't grow. Shit. Okay. I, I, I'm going to bring him up. Definitely going to bring him up. Not that, like, we need things to get switched around. It's just I want to play him in his role. I don't know how good he could get. He's 22 already, so we gotta be, we got to act quickly on that. So, yeah, that's something I'm going to do right now. Might take sending someone down, or likely will. Yeah, it will take sending someone down. Probably send down Beegris or something, and then... <laughs> Forbert will be depth, which is kind of fucked. It's pretty good. But, I want to play... Got to try out that Naki's guy. Got to keep handing it over to the young guns. So bring him up. Send down Beegris. He'll have to clear. Ooh, he has to clear away. He might actually get claimed. That's a pretty good deal. I'm going to risk it. Uh, he might have got claimed. Yeah, I didn't see it. Well, usually it'll notify you, right? Okay, yeah. I was going to say it started to notify you. Forgot about that. All right, so Forbert, are we gonna get him knockies in there? Now this guy isn't built incredibly. That's the only downside of him. He's kind of built really weird. His offensive awareness is shit. His passing's great, but then his defensive stats are kind of spread out too. But I want to try him out just to see where he gets, what he what he becomes. All right, HL. Yeah, we're going to stuff in Beegers here. Everywhere. Really? What? What's the issue? Oh, extra attacker. No, oh, we got Boo. Mm. They're already in there. <laughs> Fuck it. Put foot in there or something. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Fix that. <sighs> yeah, and I guess we'll try out these lines now. Something. <laughs> we gotta try something. Yeah, it's just whatever the hell we're doing is not working in any, any way, shape, or form. We gotta get going. I mean, it's just offense has gotta get going here. I think we should, we should be able to score a bit more. I don't know if we'll be averaging like three goals per game, but we should be around the two. 2.7 mark in my opinion I think we should be around the 2.75 mark with our goals for I think we're good enough for that I think holy shit <sighs> we keep playing like this though we're gonna fucking just miss the playoffs <laughs> went from having an outstanding start to where defense was great but I mean once that disappeared our offense just couldn't carry us and our offense keeps getting worse we lose there, but we get three goals, which is great. And now we get three goals again, so that's six, three, and three. That's amazing. But we need to sustain that. We really need to be able to sustain that. I don't think he was actually injured or out, whatever. 21, 16, and three. Like, we're out of a playoff spot right now, most likely, in this division. All right, now it's looking good. But is this sustainable again? I'm Okay, another three-goal game. I don't know. It's hard to say. Oh, that sucks. <sighs> Can anything else go bad for us? Because this is a lot of bullcrap happening right now. That is highly unfortunate. Huh. 
Who the hell even goes in here? <laughs> Got injured Mexican. Does so this guy have... He's low top six. Okay, have fun. Oh, man. A lot of injuries there to our AHL. I, I hate losing foot because the guy's growing, you know, and that's a pretty major injury. Although we are almost in February, it's still like a month of him missing time. Uh, no, those aren't good enough. Okay, so we come back and only get one goal four in two games after that great stretch. So that's kind of what I'm afraid of. Like, are we going to, is that just going to be always a thing here? Even if we have a good stretch? Could be. Could be a thing. I hope it's not, but. All right, gem. Ooh. Late round defensive gem. Righty, too. That's good. Not bad. All right. Are we going to come back to scoring? Okay, there's three goals for. Okay, it's looking slightly better right now. It is. I will I will say that, but again, is that coincidence or are the changes actually working? We kind of don't know. And that's what worries me, you know? So Arizona should be an easy win, but we lose that game. Come on now. Got to be able to get those goals, man. Columbus, okay, I'm glad we don't have their pick now. They started out poorly, but now they're back. See, we win that game. It's a nice shutout. They, ooh, no, I still want Subban. <sighs> three goals, three games in a row, only two goals, four. That's what I'm talking about. It, we, <laughs> we have that stretch and then immediately go back to shit. God damn it. What is the issue here? We should be way better than this. Way, yeah, we're out of a playoff spot. I knew it. We are out of a playoff spot. Unbelievable. How is this even happening? Goals for is shit. Goals against keeps getting worse and worse and worse, too. Power play got 1% better. Not good enough. But it's at least some kind of improvement. But can, is that even... Is that just an anomaly improvement? It's not like a big improvement. We, Dude, look at this production. Holy hell. That is gross. Really gross. No other way to say it. That's just disgusting production. Defense is fine. Like, that's okay. But holy crap. Forwards? Seriously? Your top point score is 32 points. To the next closest one is eight points behind. Hoffman isn't even a .5 point per game player. What is happening? Why is it like, I know we're kind of turned like the younger guys and you know, blah, 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 blah. And everyone's kind of not very good, but you'd think they'd get a little bit more than what they're getting. Just a little bit. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm overestimating. I don't feel like I am though. What Andronov have, he doubled his points in that. So that's okay. But still, it's just not good enough. And we can't really fix it right now without making a trade. So I'm definitely willing to do that. But almost honestly, it almost needs to happen now before it gets fucking worse. Because it's terrible. Really bad, man. Yeah. A lot of growth here. Schlumko's now 72. Goaltender's still ticking along. All right, Shaik has got more growth, almost up to a 70 now. That's good. And now it's saying Jilson isn't growing, but I'm pretty sure he already, yeah, it keeps disappearing. <laughs> the modifications disappear, man, what the heck? Now Hootenin's grown too, 21 at 68 though. Yeah, he's cutting it close. He's really cutting it close. Ugh. All right, well, I can't really do much more to our lines. We've we've tried so many different combinations out that it's just. Yeah, it just seems like we're just not meant to be a great team right now. That's just kind of what it feels like. I mean, and it makes sense. You look at us on paper. This is not a strong roster. But it seemed like a lot of our stats in certain places were good enough to kind of 
get some good production. I mean, you, like last year, Toffoli, Hughes, and Hoffman produced great together. Now, granted, a lot of the time where they were on the second line, so they're able to perhaps exploit matchups, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, you know, that could could have been part of the part of the thing there. And Byfield just keeps getting better. It's like I really, I think I need to try him up somewhere. The thing is, who the hell moves? Like that's that's the only thing I struggle with. Who the hell moves? Like we can do something like this, but again, I had want him kind of to play center. Seventy-six faceoffs isn't great, so he doesn't have to. Like, where do we move him? Second line? We try him second line for a bit. Have Toffoli on the third, but Toffoli... Yeah, might as well at this point. Holy hell. Can't get much worse. Or even do that. Put Byfield with Hughes and Hoffman. Get Andronov back on that second line. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> we're just trying to find something that works here, and nothing's working. At least Hayes is a center. 73 faceoffs is pretty bad though. But whatever, it'll work for now. To fully on the third line. We could try that. This is just tough, man. It really is. It's we gotta freaking sign Hughes now too. Like if this doesn't work, we're gonna I'm gonna keep trying combinations to see if we can do it internally, because the last thing I want to do is get like a temporary guy, but that might might be what it comes down to. And likely we'll like throw in Bushnevich into the deal just to get rid of a roster player. I think Bushnevich will be the guy to go for sure. I'm still not ready to give up on Andronov yet. He's only 19. Yeah, his production is absolute trash right now, but he's also playing in really kind of high roles, but he does have the stats for it. But again, does he have the right supporting cast? In my opinion, I think Kravtsov is a good supporting cast. He shoots a lot, or at least he should, like, how much does this guy shoot? Yeah, 150. He's on pace for almost 300 shots. He shoots a lot. So Andronov should succeed with him like if he's if he utilizes his teammates well if he has you know but as of right now it's not quite working and he is only 83 he's very he's still kind of low overall even for second line our entire second line is pretty borderline so i will admit that but still i was looking for a tiny bit more so we'll have to see We'll have to see what's going to happen here. So we'll try that out. We can get up to the deadline. If the, Again, if this doesn't work, we might have to make some kind of trade. I didn't want to miss the... I mean, I'm not going to go all in for a cut, but I for sure didn't want to miss the playoffs. The way we started out, especially, I'm like, yeah, we can make the playoffs. But as of right now, we are far from it. We have to have ourselves a great month here. We have to have ourselves a good month. Byfield's got to play his ass off on that first line. And I'm worried about that, sticking him on there, because he ain't, you know... It's his first damn year in the NHL, and once again, another loss. Only scored one goal for. Only two goals in regulation right there. Not good enough. And I'm not making these trades. We need those defensemen. <sighs> two goals in regulation. Two goals in regulation. Cannot get more than two goals in regulation. We have games like that out of nowhere. Sure, that helps. Those are nice, but it's, it's not a consistent thing. Not that you're ever going to score six goals consistency, but we should be scoring three a lot more. A lot more. There's zero way. There's no way that we should. Yeah, there's this is no, it's not working. We need something and it ain't going to work this year. I don't think we might. I, honestly, I don't even want to trade for a temporary guy at this point. I just want to reassess that shit and wonder what the heck is going on. Because whatever it is, it is not good right now. Zero offense, man. We need, we definitely need that guy to help out Hughes. I know that. Just a nice, great passer to have with him. See, that's nice. It looks, it always looks like we're gonna. No, hell no. Always looks like we're gonna be like kind of on the way up. We have a six goal game, then we have three goal game and a five goal game. But we, I just know that we're we're just gonna bounce right back to uh, not do, getting anything. Pretty rough injury right there to our AHL. Losing their great starting goaltender. And we, honestly, at this point, I don't even care. Oh, fuck that. What the hell kind of deal is this? Hell no. At, at this point, it's just, I just want wins, man. I don't want us to miss the playoffs. I don't care. Like, just tighten up defense, tighten up goal scoring, tighten up something so we start getting points because we need points right now. 
We need the wins. We need to get ourselves back into a playoff spot. See, that's nice. I don't, at this point, fine. You want to only score two goals, just get a win out of it. Goaltending better play its ass off. A lot of trade offers right now. And I'm being stubborn and not removing anything off my block, but whatever. Okay. Points. This is what I'm talking about. One, two, three, six game winning streak. This is exactly what we needed right now. Everything came together right. Yeah, we might not be still scoring a whole hell of a lot, but I don't want to miss out the playoffs. We need some ex we need some playoff experience. We definitely need some playoff experience here. Mm. New. No. Get out. Come on, guys. A couple more wins here would be great. Just a couple more. Ah, tough loss. We got three goals for though. I'll take it <laughs> at this point. Just give me three goals. Ah, another loss. And now we're going to do the whole three goals while losing shenanigan. Oh, well, one more win, please. I sh just give me one more. Don't go on a losing streak after you just go on six in a row, please. Win this last one. Come on, New York. Get Find a, some modicum of consistency. Fuck off. Yay. 34, 24, and five. That's a lot more respectable. That six game winning streak was exactly what we needed exactly what we needed that's a much better month although we're still out of a playoff spot by two points two and three points so look how tough it is now look how tough this freaking division is it ain't gonna be easy not gonna be easy it's our goals for improving in any way yeah it improved a bit there Goals against improved. Power play. You know what? Power play keeps getting better, so I'm going to leave it how it is. Penalty kill, same thing. Everything just kind of... Why are we so trash on home ice? Great on the road. Trash on home. 7-3-0 in the last 10. That's good. We're trending in the right direction. Question still remains, though. Do we need that extra thing? Andronov is actually now doing well. Not, I can't say good, but he's doing better. I mean, he ain't going to hit 50 points, but what can you do about that? At least he seems to be doing better. Crafts off. It's going to be a 20 goal scorer, so that's good. Hoffman is trash. I don't know why he's being so bad this year. Really don't. I don't get it. <laughs> 62 points, 51 points this year, not even on pace for 50. Craziness. Two, you know, two years in a row, 30 goals too. Like that, it's weird. It's weird how there is just such a sudden drop off. And I'm, I'm trying to put my finger on it. It's, I, I really think it's because they're playing more minutes and they're playing against all those other top lines. Well, they were. Now they're not, but last year, Hoffman, Toffoli, and Hughes was great together. But that, again, that was mostly on the second line where they're probably not facing the same matchups. Byfield, I can't remember what his points were at, so it's hard to judge how he was doing on that first line, but it seemed that our team improved, so I mean, I can leave it there. And luckily, we have Subban, Shane, Latang, because they're helping out a lot, <laughs> getting us more points. You know, it's still not good. Lindgren and Latang though, is not the best combination. And Nakis has done great since he's come in. Plus five, three points, 27 games play, and I'm cool with it. Doesn't take a whole lot of penalties either. He's playing well. Can't take anything away from him at all. Shostorkin, average, 51 games played. Those are, you know, decent stats. Nothing incredible about him. He ain't going to get stat growth. I'm hoping he'll grow naturally a bit more, but there's no guarantee of that. If he does, that'd be great. And then he could be our goalie for a bit. Uh, Dell, really good backup performances. Doesn't it's weird? He has the great stats, but he doesn't have 16 points in 16 games played, which is what I want for my backups. He has less than that, which is pretty bad. But hey, what can you do? Yeah, again, all right. So to make a push for the playoffs, we either have to hope this keeps getting better as it is, or we have to make it. We have to make a change, and we have to grab someone else. So. With that in mind, it should likely be like some kind of first line winger, some guy, someone who can pass the puck really well. Because Hughes takes shots, Hoffman takes shots. And Byfield is now 87 overall. Holy fucking hell. What is even going on, man? Why is this guy growing so crazy? And why isn't it showing up on my progress reports? Jesus. Wow, okay. Um Yeah. Byfield doing a thing. He's only 19. What is going? Is he is his potential going to change? That would be incredible. His potential might change. His growth is a lot. Like that's a lot of growth. 
He's got great offensive stats. And as he's ready for a second line, our second line would look a lot better with him. Could do two passers, Byfield and off with Kravtsov, and then move Lee Sanderson back down here. Yeah, we could still have to move someone. And someone's going to have to take a lot less ice time. We could even have Howden on the fourth line if we really wanted to. I mean, I could make that. We could make that work, even though he's pretty damn good and it kind of seems fucked up. But he doesn't seem to produce. So he's a two-way guy. Looks like he has good defensive stats, but he takes some penalties and he doesn't really produce. I mean, on the third line, he has a very good supporting cast. This is a great third line. That's a good supporting cast for a third line. Yeah, he should be producing more. Even he was on the second line for a lot, too. Should be better. So, okay. If we're considering that, where what do we get? And who do we get? And who do we move? That's kind of what I'm trying to figure out. Maybe Bushinevich is the guy to move just to free up the spot. He's on the one year. And then we got to think about what our lines are going to look like. But let's just browse the trade market here. And... See what people have available, if anything. If anything, that suits our interests. If not, then, you know, what can we do? Uh, they have Clayton Keller on the block. Only an 84 overall at 23, though. Looks like a great playmaker, though. We'll do whatever it takes to win. I do like that. Can be emotional at times, but... He's only on a massive contract. Why is he only 84 overall, 23? I mean, he could get better, but that still kind of worries me, you know? That's kind of a worrying, uh, worrying stat there. I'm mostly looking for guys on the block, too. Uh, this Bannister guy. Don't know what kind of player he is at all. I really don't know much about him. Because he's AHL and I don't have any AHL scouts. Yeah, I'd rather get an, an NHL-ready guy, though, obviously. And not much of those available readily. Like, no top guys. And, like, that's what we're kind of after. Like, a, sort of a top guy here. Oh, surprised none of these guys are on the block from L.A. since they're rebuilding. Nothing. Yep, pretty tough right now. Hold on, hold on. That <laughs> Primo guy's still only 79 overall. <laughs> oh, what's good? What's good? What's he got? 12 points? Where is he playing? Oh, okay, he's on the fourth line. That makes sense, though. But still, <laughs> hasn't grown. Uh, Yeah, why is Wallstrom so low? That kind of sucks. 21, still only 78. I don't think he's going to get that great in this one. Plus, he'll shoot a lot because he's created. Yeah, not a whole lot here block-wise. Not a whole lot of anything block-wise. Which is kind of what we'd have to deal with. We have to go for blocks for the most part. Yeah, tough. Yeah, Patriotti, nope. I mean, there's players, but... Oh, what the heck? What are they doing here? Are they cleaning house? Looks like Winnipeg is trying to clean house. Okay, who's this Vessel Linen guy? They want to get... They want to trade a fucking line. That's insane. But I'm more interested in this Vessel Linen guy. Two-way dude. Well-rounded personality. Meshes with any group. On the second line, not getting a hell. Oh, we take some penalties. Line A, well, we know how this guy's going to kind of do. Again, sort of another goal scorer type guy. Ehlers would be interesting. There's a lot here, but 
I'm not 100% thrilled with all of it. Line is good. I, I kind of dig Line. A. That's a lot of value. And he has he needs an extension, so we'd have to extend him right away. He'd want a lot of money. He's very good though. He is a sniper. Nothing to report on his personality. Get some good production. He's at 50 points in 63 games played. Not incredible, but something seems to be going wrong with Winnipeg, I take it. I don't know. But yeah, that's kind of it. Winnipeg is the is the team that's selling right now. And why is that? Wow, okay. Not doing good. And us. What are our picks looking like? Well, Calgary's not doing good. Neither is Nashville. We have actually the best. Ooh. Well, we're in really good shape. That Calgary. Wow. Oh, yeah. I've, I've seen Calgary a couple times. It just didn't click that we had their pick. Brilliant. And was Nashville around 500? Yep. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is going to be a great draft. So. At this point, I'm a, I almost just want to stick stick to the process. I almost don't want to trade for someone right now. I want to just get more, get some more really good prospects, and then inter we'll do all of this internally, pretty much. So yes, we could trade for someone. We probably even have just the excess value to trade for a rental just to get us into the playoffs. I mean, we do. This guy's twenty years old, only not, not even sixty overall as a goaltender. I mean, this this could be some value. We can throw this in something else to grab that guy. We have this franchise goalie coming up who's growing at an insane pace. It looks like he will, he he will be our future number 1. And yeah. We could throw in the starter. Starter's throw is a nice little chunk of value. That's not quite it. Actually, it might be enough to get line A. It might be enough to get line A. because of the blocks matching. Sorry, I was just kind of eyeballing the value right there. I could just put it in there, but you know what? I might as well. If, if we're going to muse on it, let's throw that, that value in there. And, and Winnipeg wants both of them, which is absolutely insane. I can't believe that this is happening. Never seen this happen to the Jets. Yeah, so let's say we put line A in there. It's that well, I don't think that goes through, but we wouldn't need that much. Mm, actually, we'd need a little bit more. But I mean, it'd be possible to get line A. The thing is, does he fit? You know, does he fit onto this team? I don't know. Part of me still wants to wait, you know? Like, yes, we could grab him. But I'd rather grab someone maybe a little bit worse than line A and someone a little bit more temporary. Even though that almost seems counterproductive, like if you're sending away that goaltender's value at the same time, that's a guy who I don't really project becoming any sort of real elite. I'm projecting him maybe more around Shastork and final value, which is starter value. So really, you're not you're not giving away too, too much. Anyway, that's uh, those are my thoughts on what's going on right now. And I'm uh, ex. Definitely, uh, definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts. We are sort of trending in the right direction. We're going to have two great picks. Calgary's way down there. Nashville's pretty far down there, although they're not too far out of a playoff spot because, damn, the West has some weak-ass wild cards. Wow, that those are weak wild cards. Jesus. Yeah, really weak wild cards. But that Calgary pick is going to be insanely good. 66 and 67, they're down there at 52. We, yeah, Calgary pick's going to be great. Our own pick, obviously not going to be as good, but uh, if we miss the playoffs, it'll be decent. I'm hoping we don't. Again, I'd rather get some playoff experience under our belt here, but might not be the case. And it looks like we should have some sort of top five pick. And the guy projected to go uh, second overall, or, or first overall, our scout has him ranked it. And second, and the guy, this guy, yeah, I'm not a fan of either of those guys, really. Ugh. I'm not a fan of any of these guys, really. This guy, well, I, I like this guy better. 200 foot game, magic hands, and skating, but... Hmm. 
That's what we character. This is not the greatest top five. They're they're look they're gonna be good overalls for sure, but I'd rather a playmaker. <laughs> you know? I'd rather one of them just be an outstanding playmaker. Like this guy. 200 foot game magic hands and skating like he doesn't have like great teammate utilization nothing nothing like that I, we kind of need someone like that we need someone to pat line byfield might be that guy andernon might be that guy for jack hughes in which case we need kind of a hybrid production dude which could be any of these guys which is nice but at the same time i don't know we'll see well, i have to sort of better reassess that all right no mid-round medium elites that we can see quite yet. Uh, only still that one low elite fully scouted. Got a couple others who may be close to it, but we'll see. Okay, anyway, yeah. Deadline. Did I check growth here? I don't know if I did. Usually there's big old jumps here at the deadline. Yeah, I need to check what, what was going on with Byfield. Okay, now, yeah. All right. This should, yeah, this should be all natural. Just growing well. God, look at that defense. Wow. His face-offs are shit, so he's likely not going to be like a good center or anything like that. But Oh, my God. He's just a beast of a player, and he's already better than he ever got in Buffalo. He only got to 85 in Buffalo. He's 87 now at age freaking 19. What the heck? I think that one year in the juniors was the right call. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. All right. Ooh, hello, Jilson. Jilson's now 79 overall. I believe this guy is, yeah, he's not signed, so we don't have to snag him until next year. When did we draft this guy? Because he's grown like crazy. I don't even know. But look at that. Holy crap. Oh, god damn it. Look at that. Ugh. Why is everyone I get built so stupidly? All right, are you going to be shut down then at least? Are you going to have great defense? Ugh, could be better. Whatever. We'll see how he grows. He's just got really terrible offensive awareness. And I hate that. I hate when your passing's way up there. Because offensive awareness is miles, miles more important than uh than passing. Way, way more important in this game than passing. Like, I can't even stress how much more important it is. Defense is looking pretty solid. Karkner hasn't grown too much yet. This guy was our late first, up to his discipline. Yeah, not really much at all, but again, doesn't matter a whole lot. A lot of time left. Uh, all right, well, yeah. So, do we make a trade? If so, who do we trade for? You guys, you guys were able to see some of the top players as I scrolled through. Uh, maybe some of them weren't on the block, but we might have the value. We probably do have the value to get someone who's not on the block. We can make them good offers, but. We have to remember the player will likely not be very, uh, very permanent here. So we're looking for more of a temporary type player. So line A, he seems like a guy you'd want to make more permanent than anything. I mean, he's still very young. So yeah, and and again, I still think we need more of a hybrid slash playmaker type guy. I mean, we're still figuring it out. We're trying. Or at least we're trying to figure it out. Byfield kind of seems like he could be sort of the playmaking kind, but he kind of produces more hybrid, and it's hard to say he hasn't been here for that long. I want, I really wanted Andernoff to be on that first line, but the guy needs to just get himself going in so many ways. He just is not really that great right now. So yeah, but we're going to have some great picks in this draft. I know that at least one, probably a top five pick, but maybe two top tens Ugh, depends depends on what happens with nashville all right so uh, excuse me we are at an interesting juncture right here just a couple points out of the playoffs we don't know to push for the playoffs or kind of trust the process here and uh try to let our own lines play out with byfield up there and things like that so i'm gonna need your guys's help with all that kind of stuff that i mentioned trade options line options etc so i hope you guys enjoyed it remember to leave that like and i'll see you in the next one
If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow, and you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.